how can we make our online sessions more engaging, more interactive and get more involvement from our students? In this video, I'm going to show you two techniques. I'm going to focus on two great technologies that we can use for free that will add variety to the sessions and get the students involved. And what's really powerful is that immediately you'll be able to look at, see what they're doing, see the results and see their responses. Great way of checking understanding, great way of getting more engagement from your students. Let's get started. Okay, so we're on Zoom at the moment. And what I'm gonna do is, let's say you're doing a session and you wanna get your students to do an activity. So you're trying to move them away from the session. You want them to quickly do an activity just to check their understanding. You've explained something, you've watched a video, and now you wanna see, well, are they following me? One of the best websites that you can use is a website called WordWall. The reason is it allows you to make more than 30 games. So let me quickly jump over and show you WordWall. So we're on WordWall and I'm going to just choose a game and play it for you just to show you what it's like and then I'm going to show you how you share it with students which is really easy. In this game I've done a little lecture with my students about GDP, growth domestic product and then the students have to do an exercise to show me that they've understood and they have to put in order all of the countries in terms of their gross domestic product based on the information that I was giving them in the presentation. So it's a great way of checking understanding. And the other nice thing about this activity is that the students can get immediate feedback because once they do the activity, they can click on here. It immediately gives them feedback, but even more interestingly, I also get the feedback because I can set an activity, share the link in Zoom, the students click on the link, they do the activity, and then I can click on the results and I get the results and you can see that I use this technology a lot when I'm trying to check understanding. If I just click on any of my results, let's say for example this one here, then I get immediate feedback on what the students have done, whether they got the answers wrong or right, was there anything that I need to cover again. So it's absolutely perfect for quickly checking understanding but then you finding out whether or not the students did or didn't understand you. So let me take you through an ex exercise of what I mean. Let's say I've done a little lecture with my students about buildings, famous buildings around the world and I now want them to do this activity so I just quickly open up the activity and all I need to do when I open up the activity is click on share and then I just sit, click on set assignment I'm going to ask for their names, click on start, and I share that link with my students. So I jump back to Zoom, I simply share the link with the students, and now the students can click on the link and act, actually do the activity. Let's actually look at that activity so you can see how this one works. So in this activity, I click on it, what happens is the students have to drag the word into the correct place. So we've got the first one here, leaning tower of Pisa. And we can see that we have to drag this word into here to get the first one right. And then we come to the second one, which is Sagrada Familia. And again, we've got to drag this one over here and so on. So the students complete the activity when they think they've completed it. They click, they get immediate feedback. So I didn't do very well. And of course, that information comes back to me almost immediately as the teacher. And this is one of the reasons why when I'm doing an online session using Zoom and we need to check understanding a lot because we can't see our students, we're not in the room with them, I do lots of little activities just to check that they've been following me. And why I like WordWall particularly is quite simply this. If we click on the activities, create an activity, you have a huge number of activities at your disposal that you can use. And I'm going to quickly take you through just making one to show you how easy these tools are to use. So let's do a really simple example just to show you how simple it is to use this technology. I'm going to click on match up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to match countries with their capital cities and I'm just going to do the first one for you and then I'll do the rest without recording it but I'm going to put the country on one side and then the capital city on the other. Now I could be writing sentences, I could be using pictures, I can do a lot more but I'm just going to do this really really quickly. When I want to add a new item I just click here and then I can add another item. 
Okay, so I've added my countries, I've added my capital cities. It took me just a few seconds to do that. I can now click on done. And if I wanna use that activity in the class with my students, all I need to do is click on share. And when I click on share, it then opens up the activity, click on set assignment. I'm gonna choose enter name, click on start, and then share that link with the students. So you're doing a lecture, you wanna check their understanding. And so you share the link, give them a couple of moments to do it and ask them when they finish to write in the chat window done. So you know they're done. And then once you finish the activity, you can quickly click on the results and say, okay guys, let's have a quick look at how you're doing. Now I just wanna point out to you, sometimes I'm doing this with huge numbers of students or teachers if I'm doing teacher training 315 60 193 so you can do this in really big classes in fact I've done a few big sessions training teachers in using zoom where I had four or five hundred people in the room doing the exercise in word wall and it's worked perfectly now just to explain to you word wall you can use it for free you are allowed to use up to five games for free and then you can use use those games again and edit them so you can use them in a low level and then change the game and use it in a higher level if you want to do more than five games unfortunately you will have to pay but you can use this as a free tool and for a long time I did use it as a free tool and just simply kept editing my five games so we focused on WordWall and if you want to learn more about WordWall I've put up here a more detailed video about it but now I want to shift over to a second type of activity and this time it's not individual it's going to get students to collaborate in an area where they can share their ideas and then we can look at what they've been writing. Now the great thing about this technology is we can get our students to write collaboratively but we can also get them to record and I'm going to show you examples of that. So let's move over to this second technology now and really think that you're going to like the option that this opens up in terms of the way that we can get our students engaged in our sessions. Now this is another technology I use a lot when I'm working with Zoom or with Microsoft Teams and I want to get the students to collaborate and work on something and build more dynamics, more interaction into my sessions. And this is slightly different type of tool because it gets the students to do things collaboratively. And let me just quickly show you an example. So let's have a look at a couple of examples first. I'm going to look and show you this one here. What happened here is I just, all you do with uh, Padlet is you create a link to an electronic board and then students can add all their ideas up. And what I did in this one is that I got my students to add recordings so they could record themselves. It's very easy to do that. Okay, so it literally is one click of a button. You simply make the what we call the electronic cork board. You share the link to the cork book and then the students can interact on the cork book with you. And very quickly you can do these collaborative activities where you get lots of ideas together. For example, in this one, I wanted to, the students to think of questions to ask if they were gonna meet the photographer, Steve Curry. And you can see here that I get loads and loads of different questions all added onto the screen. So you can do this in really big classes. It's absolutely brilliant to get that kind of collaboration together in the lesson. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to just focus on how we make a Padlet and you'll see how easy it is to actually introduce this into your teaching and learning. So to make a Padlet, all I need to do is click on this button here, make a Padlet. It's that easy. And the one that I'm going to choose is called, we'll do Grid. Okay, so Grid is great if you want to get lots of people collaborating together. And I'm just going to write the question here on the, on the right-hand side. And I'm going to say, what do you like most about teach or learning in classroom? I mean, let's imagine that I'm asking the students. Okay, so I'm asking them this question. I click on Next. It's that simple. I click on Start Posting. And I just share this link with my students. So I just copy the link and then share it with the students. So back in my Zoom room, all I would do is just paste in the link. Now let's just show you what happens. The students can just click on that link and immediately it's gonna open up the screen. They can double click on the screen. Then they can write their name. So they can write Russell and then they can begin to add their post. So really easy here. I add, sorry my post 
here and then they click on published and immediately it's added now one of the other really nice things about working with Padlet is that you're not limited to them just writing you can get your students which is something I often do to get them to record themselves speaking just a super quick piece of publicity if you like what you see and you'd like more videos on teaching online please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com there's a special section on teaching online and a special section on zoom and if you'd like to follow my work the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter that way you get updated with all the latest videos the blog posts the online courses and the webinars that I run right let's get back to the video so you can see that Padlet's a great way of getting our students to collaborate together and then we can get all their ideas in one place. But we can also use Padlet for audio. Now, if you want to learn more about Padlet, I'm going to add a link to a more advanced video about Padlet. But I am going to quickly show you how now we can add audio rather than text. So we're going to look at a different one here. I'm going to click on Make Padlet. And this time, again, I'm going to select Grid. But the question that I'm going to ask the students to do this time, I'm going to say, record yourself. So I want to actually want them to do a speaking activity. Record yourself telling me about how you try to learn English. OK, so let's just doing this again as a really simple example. Click on next. Now, the difference in this activity is that, again, you're going to share the link. But when the students click on the screen, what they want to do this time, instead of writing, they can put their name again at the top of the screen. They can write their name. But what you want them to do in this case is to choose one of the other options. There's lots of options here. And they can click here. And you notice that, for example, one of them says audio recording. So we're going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on this button here. Let me just, OK, just click on that button here and just do a quick test. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, just explaining what I do to learn English. What I mainly do to learn English is to read. Recording done. Click on playback and save. Uh, that's where you can just, again, if you want to give it a title, my English, and should really write that with a capital and then simply click on the save button and that recording has now been added onto the Padlet. So you can do an activity with your students in the classroom where different students are adding up their Padlets onto the screen. Really hope you like the video. Please like the video. Please share the video. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. And if you really want to follow my work, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com and join me on my newsletter. There are some other videos on the screen. If you want to learn more about teaching online, just click on one of them.